You couldn't ask for weather mm -mm. any better than what we got today, especially at the end of September like this. But I'll ask for it anyway. No. <laughs> if, if we could just keep it this way, it'd be fine, Andrew. Mom and Dad always says, never hurts to ask, right? right? Well, Kimberly and Devin, we're looking at at least more sunshine as we go through the rest of the week and not a drop of rain in sight for a while. I'll show you that seven-day forecast to let you know when the next best chance of showers is. But no chance of showers for tonight as it cools down. We have temperatures in the 60s right now. We'll see middle and upper 50s in the metro zone. Same thing in our south. South zone temperatures down to around 57 to 60 degrees from Tecumseh over into Dundee and Monroe. West of 275 under partly cloudy skies for now, but then mostly clear skies by breakfast time tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the middle 60s, 55 to 57. Low and middle 50s north of Hall Road for our north zone from Macomb Township to North Branch and up towards Sandusky. So a pleasant night, a comfortable night with those temperatures in the 50s. We can sleep safely with the windows up. 66 right now and winds have now switched coming out of the the north northeast at around 12 miles per hour. You thought it was warm today and it was 82 for a high. It was warm throughout much of the month, at least warmer than average. A majority of the month was that way while it was cooler than a month just for basically just over a handful of days and we still have a ways to go and temperatures may be slightly above average as we go into tomorrow and the next few days and above average even into the next few days after that. The next six to 10 days. These are new long range forecasts that were just issued by the National Weather service. Six to 10 days from now will at least be slightly above average. Eight to 14 days from now, three to four weeks from now, deep into October, temperatures might be just slightly above average at least for the foreseeable future. But keep it tuned right here to Local 4. We can let you know day by day to make sure that verifies. Now out to the tropics. Hurricane Sam, still a potent hurricane, a category three storm with 120 mile per hour winds, still over open waters. That's some good news. Getting closer to Bermuda, looks like Bermuda is going to get a glancing blow, if anything, as it moves farther to the north and northeast. But that track could change over the next few days, so keep it tuned right here also for that. 60 right now for our friends over in Oxford. Hello, uh, Howell, you're looking at temperatures also in the low 60s at this hour, while it's 64 over in Dundee. Again, temperatures go down a few more notches into the 50s, but temperatures now, unlike this afternoon when you joined us at 4, 5, and 6, where temperatures were as much as 10 degrees above where they were 24 hours ago, now we're seeing a bit of a cool down because we, have a, we had a weak cold front move through. It brought a few extra clouds, but the main thing is this wind switch now coming out of the north and northeast bring in some of that cooler air. Not where it's drastically chilly, it brings us back down to seasonable levels. With those 50s overnight, high pressure settles in for tomorrow, so we'll see plenty of sunshine. It gets warmer, just not as warm as it was today. But temps around 70 degrees, that's still around average. I think we'll take that too. We're looking at 58 degrees overnight tonight. Temperatures will be in the low and middle 50s outside the city. Then we're looking at 67 for temperature at noontime. Outdoor recess for the kids with all that sunshine. More sunshine for after school activities and highs in the lower 70s. Low 70s also at least slightly above average. The average high this time of year is 70 degrees, but count on sunshine through Friday. Spartans play on uh, Saturday, temperature of 71 for a high. Next best chance of rain at the end of the weekend into next Monday.